Hello, welcome back to Silos Peace, the Engineers and Navigators Hub. I trust you had a beautiful week last weekend. And this week, it's a great week to explore a lot of potentials. So quickly, we'll be taking on a new topic. We will be taking a bit of the doing part. So um, I will be discussing on centrifugal filters. In between, we'll be seeing how to clean a centrifugal filter, um, identify the part in a centrifugal filter, and what is the purpose of a centrifugal filter? Why do we need a centrifugal filter on our engines? So before we go forward, too well to click on the subscription button, subscribe to Sailor Space at Engineers and Navigators Hub, or you can just search using our handle at Sailor Space 01. It will automatically redirect you to YouTube on our YouTube channel, no matter the browser you're using. Send a like today, send a share to your friends, and send in your comment. I would really love to hear from you okay so let's identify the part in this first part we have the cover the cover of the centrifugal filter okay the next component is the centrifugal bowl some books will call it the rotor because it is the rotating part of this component and when this component is dismantled it has other components inside it we are going to look at that component or those components as we move forward so this part you see here um, shows after the rotor has been removed from the from the unit this long shaft you see is called the hollow spindle the hollow spindle so it serves the purpose of allowing the dirty oil to flow up through it it's, it's more like um an avenue in which the dirty oil enters into the system to be separated or filtered whichever how we want to put it and note when you dismantle this this part up to this part for cleaning you should always use a clean rag to cover it so that dirt cannot enter into those pipes and block it it may cause problems So the next part is a component of the rotor system being dismantled. You can see the rotor, which is rotor shaft. It has um, the top a nozzle impeller, the one that has a design like a blade. Then we have a disc, the one that is more like a cone. Then we have the, the centrifugal bow, the body itself and inside that body there is an insert paper we'll get to talk more about it as we go forward so this part basically shows the component of the rotor remember our topic is cleaning the centrifugal filter so after we've successfully dismantled all the parts of the centrifugal filter we put them in a bowl with the help of diesel oil we brush all the carbon particles and dirt on it, clean them up properly, use a clean rag and dry them up. The subsequent video will show clean parts of this filter. So this shows um, the rotor that is being cleaned already with the shaft. Then we have the nozzle and the dicks. We have all the components of the rotor together, the bow, the dicks, the impeller, then we now have the insert paper. So why do we use insert paper on this rotor bowl? So that during cleaning, the dirt that, has, that is going to be thrown out to the side of the bowl, the rotor will not stick to it because this, this dirt will, will, will form a cake, like a strong um, merge of carbons. And if it, this insert filter is not dead, sorry, insert paper is not there, it will be very hard while you're cleaning it. It may cause damage easily to the rotor. So this insert paper helps absorb the dirt 
from the oil doing filtration and while you when you want to clean all you need to do is to remove the insert paper out and replace it with a new insert paper which makes the job easier helps maintain the components and helps it last longer all right all right the subsequent video will be seeing how our clean centrifugal filter will be coupled back note the coupling process so while we follow through the coupling process let's quickly talk about the centrifugal filter now why do we need a centrifugal filter on an engine note the centrifugal filter is connected to an engine from the name filter what comes into your mind separation when i say i want to filter something i want to remove the ones that are not good now in this particular case it's actually we are actually separating or filtering our loop oil no matter how clean your loop oil may be you must you it must always have particles that are not suitable for your engine so that's why filtration is recommended for lubrication oil before it is being used especially when your loop oil is in a closed system it has to go back to the sum and be reused there may be particles along the way combustion particles carbon particles that may find its way to your filter because of one reason or the other so the centrifugal filter uses centrifugal force to spin to to separate particles as low as one tenth microns in your lubricate lubricating oil how does it work the centrifugal force that is produced as a result of the rotation of the rotor at an rpm of about six thousand five to seven thousand rpm helps throws out the heavier particle or you can call it the denser particle which can be carbon um, catalytic fine whatever particle that may not be wanted out to the walls of the rotor that's instead of it sticking to the walls of the rotor this design has an insert paper that allows those dirt to be absorbed into the paper and form a cake so when you are cleaning you just remove it so the primary function of the centrifugal filter is to separate dirty particles from your oil give you a clean oil to allow your engine run effectively so as you are watching we are coupling back our centrifugal filter now fully cleaned and ready for use for a better and more efficient engine have you subscribed to sailor space is this video educative and interesting for you do you want to watch more of content like this drop your comments in the comment section give us a thumb up give us a like share to your friends and subscribe to sailor space the engineers and navigators hub you can share on your status you can share on your social media handles share for more reach sharing is caring you never can tell who wants to see this video i believe you had an amazing session on sailor space 01 hope to connect with you next week as we keep sharing beautiful and interesting content on engineering safety navigation cs test and be informed we will continue our piston series thank you for watching until next session see you remain safe and be blessed i remain your host engineer docas jonah